going on YouTube? Today is Thursday the 9th. And guess what? Broke down again. Same issue as Monday. Did good Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, same issue, the tank, same side. Um, for the last two days, I have to keep checking, switching them on and off. And it gets kind of aggravating because I forget, you know, once you be rolling and you going in out the woods and out the mill. But I've been doing good with checking it. So this morning, I, everything's look good. I get to the mill and I notice my passenger side running low. So I open up the knob so that the driver side run over. Um, it's hard to explain how fuel tanks work on trucks if you're not a truck driver. So I'm not going to sit here and try to explain it. But um, we take the truck. The truck gets serviced next week. And I have to get some kingpins put on. Um, I have a new motor in it, and it's leaking oil already. Um, and we're trying to figure out what's wrong with this tanks. Um, hopefully, just some hose, a hose issue. Well, we put new ones on, but I guess we still didn't change the one that needed to be changed. I hope that's what it is. Maybe some trash got in it, you know, like dirt and build up and all that stuff. So, because I open up the tank, and the tank is pretty much dirty in the inside. Um, I guess from like, you know, dust going in and, you know, stuff like that, opening the tank up a lot. So hopefully it's nothing major and the truck won't be down too long. But I'm at the point now where I just want to scream. <laughs> but um, no, um, like I said, it's, it comes with it, man. It comes with trucking. It comes with being a log truck driver. So the mechanic's on his way to hook, hook me up and get me going. At least get this load off. If not, so be it, you know. But he should be able to get it off. Uh, if not, I can drop the trailer and um, figure it out from there. But hopefully I can get this load off. Um, I'm on my second load, and it's, it's 1036. That's a good timing. Um, I was first one in the woods. They had wood on deck. They loaded me pretty quick. I went to the mill. Um both mills we in between two mills we can haul to and they're both 55 minutes both apart uh one way is quicker but you go through a town and the speed limit is like 35 and you know other mills a straight shot and you can do 55 but i try to switch it up and go the other route but they end up shutting down and now i'm just sitting here inside of the road um, I think my next video is going to be a truck tour, I believe. Let y'all take a look at the truck. Uh, I got to clean it. It's dusty on the inside. I mean, I used to keep it clean last year when I drove this truck, but lately it's been raining, muddy. So I just don't take the time. And by the time I get home with the daylight situation, it gets dark at 530. So by the time I get home, it's dark. So. And it's cold, so I'm not being out there in the cold and dark cleaning this truck. But that's what I got going on. Um, I don't know, man. I want to do a whole lot to this truck. I want to do. I want to redo the uh, the soft part, the cushions. They're not bad, but they are uh -oh, super dirty. And I tried to clean them before. <laughs> But the dust won't stay off of us, so I think what I'll do sometime this summer is take it all out. Like you can see right here behind me, take that all out and put some new one in. I might put a black in. And uh, hopefully we can get the truck painted next this year also, later on this year. Um, Inside-wise, it's pretty good. Uh, got the wood grain dash. Um... Pretty good, pretty in good shape it is. Bad boss man call on my iPhone 11 right now, but um, truck's pretty good and inside um, kind of got the black um, uh, I don't know what you call it, but the dashboard is black with the wood grain, so it's easy to clean. Keep that clean. Um, the door panels, uh, it's blue and black also. Um, same material, but um. I'm gonna hook it up. I'm put a new radio in there because I broke the one at the top. So give me a new CB. I like this little bit. Whoever created this is. Let me show y'all. 
We were creating these for CB radios. All the go. I have mine on the hook up here. If you can see it, the hook there. And what it is, it's a gear keeper. Well, this is what this is. Um, basically, you can hang it up and it be able to pull your mic like that. So you ain't got to reach all the way up to the front because I had mine rigged up by the uh, sun visor and I had to keep leaning up every time I need to say something on a CV. But I got that at a truck stop. I forgot how much it was. It wasn't too bad. And if you get a different uh, mic, what this does is you just... What you do is you just pull that string behind there, like kind of pull it out and open up the hole. And when you put it on another mic, you just grab this here and you just pull it. But I'm not finna deal with it right now, but um, still sitting waiting on the mechanic. Hopefully he'll get here soon. And the plan is uh, have it level on both tanks, fuel on both sides of the tanks and just try to finish up my day and tomorrow, we're gonna take it to the shop and they're gonna put a uh, T on it. And I don't know, see how that works, I guess. I don't know. I'm just hope they can do something cause it's messing up my time, my money. And I was doing good now I'm all out of rotation now. So I have to be home by 6.30. So I don't think I'm gonna get four loads and then that was the plan. So I do three loads. So. Well, that's it for this video. Like I said, it wasn't going to be long. No, just a quick little situation. No. Oh, let's see. Let's see anything else. No, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I'll check in with y'all guys later. Maybe after I get rolling. Um, if not, I'll see y'all on the next video. YouTube, when I tell you I cannot catch a break, I done broke down again. This time. I don't know if you can see it, but my rear end is fucking broke. So I can't go. Now anybody know Highway 601 leaving out of uh, Lugal, South Carolina, going towards East Over. I'm on a hill. And right now, I cannot move it. I'm stuck. I can't go forward, I can't go backwards, isn't this a hill? Log trucks coming down that hill fast, they're coming from that direction fast, and I'm in the way. So I had to call a tow truck, hopefully they get here soon, and we get this stuff handled. And people getting mad, but I don't care, because hey, I can't move it. When I was running down the road, it felt like I hit a bump, but I didn't hit a bump, and the truck was still going, but I couldn't, I couldn't go forward or nothing like that. So I don't want to shut the truck off because I'll lose my air and it might roll back. I tell you, man, I tell you I cannot win. That's the hill called Screaming Eagle. And I have a truck coming now, so I'm gonna try to get out of the way. So I hope it's within the next 10 minutes the tow truck will get here. Earlier it was the fuel tank issue. And now, the damn ran. I wish I could show y'all guys a better view. Well, I'm gonna turn the camera. All right, guys. As you see, uh, that it's a bar that goes from here to here, just like this. Right here. It's a bar just like that that goes here to there, and it broke off. So I'm not exactly. 
sure what caused it. Maybe it was worn out. This truck is old, and my boss has spent so much money into it. Now I'm out of commission, so I'm not sure what I'll do next. I just have to figure it all out. So I'll check back in with y'all in just a second. Let me try to get myself together, see if I can. I can't back up. I can't even roll backwards. So y'all guys, give me a second. All right, you two. So I'm getting towed up the hill so I can drop the trailer in a good spot. And we're gonna tow it on to the shop. So today and tomorrow I'm, I'm down. Hopefully we get it back running Monday. Now look at this crazy person coming as we're going up the hill. Now what if another truck come down? What I'm doing right now is not safe riding in the truck while it's getting towed, but to keep an eye on my air pressure because the drive shaft busts something. So I was losing air. So we want to make sure the, the tires and nothing lock up. So we're just riding. Hopefully we can find a good spot to put the trailer out. I'm not sure if it is. I be at the wrong spot the wrong time. And we was gonna cancel the tow truck, I was just gonna back it out the way and drop the load. But by the time the boss man called to cancel, he was coming around and Go ahead and do it the easy, smart way. y'all can see i'm not at work um that's because the video yesterday uh which was thursday the 9th i believe uh my drive shaft broke as you can see in the video um so the truck is in the shop um i'm not sure when it's gonna be done so stuck at the house not making no money but had a bad week as you can tell um this is just a quick vlog, no um, Dog in the Bottom episode. So uh, thank y'all for watching. Just pray that I get my truck fixed quick in a hurry. So I'll see y'all guys on the next video. Peace out.